Hi everybody, it's Chris from Engaging Minds here. Just going to run you through some of the components for Worldcraft. I've heard a few people request it, so hopefully this will clear up any questions. And if there's anything you're still unsure about, please let us know afterwards. So here we go. Here is how the board looks before you start playing the game. Down the bottom here we have Grandma's house where you and your pieces start. And you need to work your way up the mountain until you get to the top to the huckleberry patch here. You need to pick two huckleberries per player, then work your way back down the mountain. <coughs> Excuse me. So to start off, you deal yourself a hand of four cards. And I'll put them on the board so we can see what they look like. So the artwork looks lovely. You've got a big picture of the cut of what it is here, in this case Valerian, and the letter name underneath and a smaller picture here. Now that comes in handy when you're moving up the mountain. I'll just push those to the side for a bit. So if Red was moving up the mountain here, he'd spun a two on this wheel that comes with the game. And I'll get to what the rainbow means on the one in just a second. If he lands on that spot with a cross, he pulls out an injury card. In this case, it's sore muscles. I should have pointed out that these four cards here represent the herbal remedies that grandma gives you when you're going up the mountain. So what you do when you pull over this card, you have a look at the symbols. So these are all of the symbols here that can heal your sore, sore knees. So then you look at your starting hand and you look through and comparing the pictures with what we have over on the injury card. And, and in this instance, we can see that Valerian can heal sore muscles, can fix your sore muscles. So then you discard both. There's a discard pile for the injuries and for the herbal remedies. And then we carry on. I should point out that a lot of these herbs are readily available in New Zealand. I have chamomile growing in my garden, for instance. It goes great in tea, but that's an aside. As we're coming up the mountain, but you can see we have the rainbow symbol here and the rainbow symbol on the spinning wheel. So in either instance, when you land on the rainbow there or on the one, you flip over the cooperation card. If we zoom in on it here, you've got two options. You can immediately discard this card to bring the player furthest behind you up to your position. Or alternatively, you can save it for later on when someone has an injury and they don't, don't have the card, you can discard this to give them the right card to heal. Now that, a couple of other things to point out. We have some black tokens over here. Now you place these out when you land on these moon symbols that all are in the board. The aim of the game is to get to the top and back before this top line is full. And if you get to the end, before you get down the mountain, grandma comes and finds you and you lose the game couple of other things to finish off. I should have pointed out before when you heal an injury, you go to these rest areas here, which are dotted all up the mountain with a number. And over here is a story that comes with, doesn't come with the game, but you can download it from the website and it's a, a worthy addition. <coughs> um, the only other thing I'll point out before I finish is you have these shortcuts here, which can both hinder and help you. They can help you when you're going up, but also say if you went up the log here and you go all the way around to here, you then have to go down that path and then start again. Um, so yeah, if you have any further questions on the game or if there's anything you're not sure about from the video, please let us know on the Facebook page and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you very much.